Interesting example uh, back in, in Zoopla days. So just before I joined Zoopla, and Zoopla was a uh, it was a private sales site. So it was essentially where buyers and sellers could meet and they could transact and they could sell their properties and, and all that sort of thing. Now, in the minds of, of those that set it up, and it was a perfectly rational um, product design, was that, look, actually, if we made it really easy for these people to do that, then they would do that and, and they would do it much, they would much prefer to do it that way as they prefer to do most things. You know, holidays had gone, if you look down the high street, travel agents had disappeared. Uh, you look down the high street, recruitment consultants had gone. Um, so, you know, it, it surely was 2008, 2009, only a matter of time before estate agents and lettings agents went. Um, so that was the original idea of, of the founders. And, and um, after a year, they realized that this this wasn't happening. The transition to private selling was not happening. And they, they could have left it and could have gone on for another um, few years. But really smartly, they looked at it and said, right, what's, what, is, what are we hearing back from our customers? And what we're hearing back is that actually this is such a massive transaction for them, probably the biggest transaction in, these people are going to make in their lives, that yes, they like what we're doing. Yes, they like the fact that we've got this automated valuation model. So it was something that, that gave you a rough guide to what your property might be worth. And that was unique and um, and something that nobody had ever seen before. So they came on, they played with that, but then they went and instructed an estate agent. So by taking the way that people were actually using the site and learning and then actually pivoting into a service that provided leads to estate agents, then the business got to a stage where last year it sold for 2.2 billion pounds.